What's going on, gang? Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Titans Return, Voyager Class, Broadside. Now, Broadside is a heavy retool of Alpha Trion, whom I have already reviewed. Now, we know Alpha Trion was a triple changer, and so is Broadside. Like his G1 counterpart, he is a triple changer of a robot, a battleship, and a jet. The robot's Titan Master little gun here is, well, it's nifty. I'm a little bit weirded out the fact that it's, well, see-through or transparent, translucent actually, but it's okay. It definitely feels like it could be a sword, though. I kind of wish it was able to be wielded as a sword. That would be cool. Broadside's robot mode looks very good. I have to give it credit. It looks really quite good. The paint is good, and the head sculpt is good. The overall aesthetic of the figure is good. The one thing I do want to let you guys know about is it is massively top heavy for a figure of this size class i think this is the most top heavy voyager in the entire line and my figure has issues with the hips because of course it does the figure's right leg is uh, i think the actual ball in the ball and joint is misformed because it has plenty of give until about there and then it requires a lot of force to move it any farther then the left leg is just super floppy. Not super floppy. Okay, it's loose. Loose enough that the weight of the figure is a problem. So that's something I'm going to have to fix with some floor polish. Posability wise head moves back and forth on kind of a skiff the same way all the Voyagers do. Shoulders are swiveled. They do not have out in and out movement on the shoulders, but the upper arms do. Swivel just above the elbow, 90 degree bend at the, at the elbow, no torso articulation, and that's because of the transformation. Ball joint in the hip, no swivel, swivel just below that, about a 90 degree bend at the knee. Overall, pretty poseable, but again, you have to remember, it's very top heavy. Broadside's transformation is actually pretty easy. We're going to start by removing the head and pushing the pylons down. And unlike my Alpha Trion, they do snap into place and are then activated by this little button underneath the canopy in robot mode. Next, we will fold up the back of the, vehicle, of the robot mode and flip up the shoulders like so. Grab the arms, straighten them out, and fold in the fists into the forearms. Take the legs turn them so that the feet or the inner leg by the lower leg are pointing forward straighten out the feet and then just turn the figure around so here we straighten out the feet peg the legs together flip these panels that are on the backs of the legs up and peg them into place then we turn it around take the well i guess you could call this a well, I'm not even sure what you would call it, but it's the landing gear for Alpha Tron's spaceship mode. Fold down the silver and white pieces and then flip out or all the way down the red flaps. Normally when you do that or put any weight on the hips, they do come undone, so just be aware of that. Then take the wings from the robot mode, fold them up a little bit, turn them, and then snap them into place to form the flight deck of the carrier mode. And finally, we could take the arms and they will peg into the underside of the flight deck. The last bit is come underneath to the left shoulder and we flip up the tower for this mode. And then we could fold out these little things from the chest and the robot mode. And they're supposed to act as, I guess, pylons for the ship to sit on, but they're very, very loose, and they tend to collapse very easily. I haven't figured out a way to keep them upright. And that's pretty much it. That is the carrier mode. The aircraft carrier mode is actually, I think, a really cool idea. The execution isn't perfect, but I still like it, and I like the look of it. It is number 36, like he was in the original show. You can also mount the gun right in the middle of the carrier, or find somewhere else to mount it. One issue that I keep running into is the arms. I didn't, I don't always transform them correctly and the directions don't have it listed correctly. You see, how I had it before was like this. You're actually supposed to turn it so that the base of the, or the back of the fist is pointing up 
and then that will peg into place underneath the flight deck. Just one thing that I wanted to show you guys. Now, the last thing about this mode that I think is absolutely awesome is that the figure ships with these tiny little aerial bots. These are the jet modes from the Combiner Wars aerial bots. And you peg them off, and there are little pegs all over the flight mode here that, well, that's where these guys are gonna get, are supposed to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. But you only have five little planes. That is a really nice touch that I like a lot. Now, as you can see, the carrier mode kind of fell down. That's because one of the pylons here in the back collapsed. They just do that, so just be wary of that. I actually like the carrier mode quite a bit. Now, let's get into the jet mode. For the jet mode, we're first going to fold up the tower, like that. Then, unpeg some parts of the flight deck up in the front, where the legs are. Unpeg the flight deck here on the back, or on the side, or I should say the middle of the thing. And then the rear of the flight deck fold up like we're going to transform it into robot mode. Turn the figure over, fold up the pylons, take the arms and move them out to the sides for right now. Split the legs apart, fold up the little landing gear thing, turn the legs so that the thighs are back in their regular, well, regular configuration. And then lift the thighs and legs up until you get the inside po points right here lined up with these pegs on the inside of the crotch. And then once you do that, fold out the wings and fold the feet underneath the backs of the shins. So just get that lined up, fold it down, flip the feet up and peg them into place, flip out the red wings and fold up the blue and or the translucent blue and white ones. You can angle them, but the directions have you put them straight up. And then turn the... Next, take the shoulders, unpeg them and hinge them down, and then fold the arms back and they will peg into these open sections by the feet. So we do that for both sides. And make sure to flip the wings out and lastly, put the gun up here and peg it into the, the hole in the crotch. And that is the jet mode. If I'm honest, part of the jet mode looks great. I love the jet mode from where my hands are covered to the front, but the back of the jet mode just looks bad. I'm sorry, this whole rear section, it's, I, I understand what they're going for. I honestly do, I just don't care for it. Now, for this vehicle mode, you can Now, for the vehicle mode, you can pin the little mini aerial bots in 1 2 3 4 5 6 different spots. So, there's that. And in this mode, you can either put the Titan Master in the canopy or in his gun. Either way, I think I like the robot mode the best. I like the jet mode. I just don't care for the back, but I can kind of forgive it. And I like the and I like the aircraft carrier mode, even if it doesn't hold together all that well. Overall, Broadside is a very ambitious retool of Alpha Trion that mostly succeeds. There are a few minor things that I don't care for, specifically the hips and the fact that the and the fact that the aircraft carrier mode has trouble holding together, but otherwise it's a pretty fine figure and fun. The only caveat that I would say is that you do need to be prepared for some minor quibbles, which I outlined in the review. Is it worth getting in your collection? I think so. I honestly think so, because it's different enough from Alpha Trion that it's a completely different figure. It shares some components, but otherwise is its own thing. So again, thank you for watching this video review. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix. Thanks again to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.